Okay, so um, this is step four. And the reason that we make it step four is because it's a nice part of the tour, but it's actually the second piece of our breeding uh, process. So uh, we did all those uh, breeding trays, 12 trays, 600-ish worms in each of the trays. Trays stay there for three weeks. After three weeks, we screen the, we screen the eggs out of that process. We use this worm trommel. It looks like this. So, Jackson, do me a favor. See that young lady down there? Yes. You go stand next to her. Because if this works, so I'm just putting in the contents of one of those trays that you saw earlier. I can see some too. So this is how we separate the worms from the cocoon and the casting. Uh, but we also get a little bit of, of uh, over, what we call over, larger chunks that wouldn't completely decompose. So what you're seeing is a eighth of an inch screen, and that eighth of an inch screen for the most part captures just pure worm casting. The second screen is a quarter of an inch, and that'll capture the vast majority of the cocoon. So any cocoons that were in that bin will fall out in that second mortar tray that's underneath there. And then, Jackson, if you're looking at me, hold up both hands. Stand up, hold up both hands. So the one on this side. What's happening on that side of the bin? Say it loud. Mostly work. Mostly work. So if we did this right, we should be able to come back here. Can I feel some? Absolutely. Me too. So if we did this right, we separated out a whole bunch of worms. So here's your photo op. You ready? Two hands. Two hands, two hands, two hands with a cup. Make a cup, make a cup, make a cup. Make a cup. So that's four or 500 worms. Jackson, you want more? Yeah, I want more than you. 